Hi everyone, my name is Liz, I read, and today I'm going to be reviewing the book Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. So this is a YA fantasy that has a lot of suspense, thrills, and horror, along with romance thrown into the mix. You follow two twin sisters by the names of Moriah and Ashen, who live in a village near the Forest of the Dead. There's a lot of angry spirits that reside in that forest, and Moriah and Ashen are commissioned of the dangerous task of being a seeker and a keeper. The keeper, who is Moriah, she is in charge of protecting the village, while Ashen goes into the forest with a seeking party, and she goes around to the dead bodies to put the souls of the dead to rest. That's because the Empire sends its most dangerous criminals to be exiled to the forest and so there's always people passing away in the forest. Unfortunately for Mariah and Ashen, things go awry when an evil emerges from the forest. The girls get ambushed and unfortunately separated. Once separated, they each decide to travel towards the Empire in order to warn the Emperor of what has happened in their village. So this novel, I really enjoyed it. It was such a surprise and I am going to give it a four star rating. There's a lot of things I really enjoyed about this but there were a few things that I disliked. Unfortunately I wasn't fully engrossed in the story right away. It took me about 50 pages to finally get on board with the characters and on board with the plot and actually get excited about the action that was taking place. And I was feeling the same near the end of the story as well. I wasn't disliking it, I was just kind of done with the story and wanting to move on to a new one. Characters themselves weren't super interesting. I thought they were kind of flat. I feel like with the two sisters, I've seen their characters before. Mariah was a very feisty character who was very good with her daggers and she took no crap from anyone and she she was headstrong. And then Ashen was basically her absolute opposite. She was not good with weapons. She was kind of meek and not self-assured. She was never good in a fight. And same with the love interests in these novels. Like I feel like I've seen those characters before. I'm not upset about it because the main focus in this novel was the plot and the spirit realm and the dangers they were facing. Definitely a plot driven novel. I thought Kelly Armstrong did a really good job with that and so I don't think it was desperately needed to have huge character growth and I would actually say one of the secondary characters was actually the most interesting. Gavil was his name because he's going to have a more interesting storyline in the next few novels. This was pretty gory for a young adult I would say. I was actually kind of surprised by it. It's definitely a dark fantasy so if you don't like blood, if you don't like gore, if you don't like high action, if you don't like to be scared this is not for you but if you like all those things then this is probably right up your alley but I was kind of surprised with how much it, there was in a young adult but it was still really good so on to the good things about this novel there was quite a bit for one thing I felt like the story was quite original I felt like I've never read a novel like this before I liked how there was a huge influence in the spiritual realm or the spirits it was almost like a religion for um, these people in the Empire they regarded the spirits quite highly and so it was very important to them to have a secret and a keeper and I kind of liked that I thought it was kind of interesting and I liked how they showed us what it meant to be a keeper and what it meant to be a seeker specifically the seeker side you got to see Ashen at work what it was like to go into the forest and basically appease the dead and I've never read a novel where the spirit realm was the main driver of the plot. So there wasn't really any magic system in here. The big focus was the spirits and the spirits were basically the ones doing the magic. No one really has powers but there is sorcery in here. You don't know much about the sorcery yet but I think it's going to be something explored further in the other novels. Definitely good world building. Like I said you got to learn a little bit about the spirits and you got to learn the roles of the girls and so that was very helpful to help set up the story and help you understand what was going on. If you can hear that, that's my bread maker. I'm very sorry. The author did a really good job incorporating a lot of genres in here. First and foremost, it is a fantasy for sure, but it's definitely a horror, suspense, thriller fantasy. If you like horror and thrillers and suspense, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because it's not that first. It's definitely fantasy first and you probably wouldn't find this extremely scary, but for someone who doesn't read that stuff, I did find it 
scary enough, but she did a really good job of incorporating that into the novels and it helped drive the plot. Also, there's definitely a lot of mystery in here. She did a really good job of making you feel like you have no idea what's going on, and then she slowly revealed things throughout the novel. You did get a lot of answers by the end of the story, but also she created new questions at the end of the novel in order to keep your interest for the next two stories. Also, there is a romance in here. I liked the romance quite a bit. Definitely a slow burn, which I really enjoyed. And so if you don't like instant love, this is probably for you as well. The romance is not the focus here. I would definitely say this is a fantasy horror thriller first and romance second. And she did a really good job of it being not at the forefront, but also still incorporated in the story. Also, there is a dual perspective in here and I thought she did it really well because it's written in third person and so it wasn't jarring at all. I thought it flowed really well and so since it was already third person perspective when the two characters split in the novel it wasn't jarring at all and she would focus on one character at a time for a big chunk of the novel. She would focus on one of the characters story for three or more chapters and so you actually felt like you got a good sense of what was happening with her story and then when she switched to the other sister she did the same thing and so I think she did that really well. Also one thing I want to say there were two major twists that happened in this story that I did not see coming at all. I was surprised maybe you wouldn't be but it was very enjoyable to be surprised by these twists. I think the author did that really well and the second twist was honestly near the end and I felt like I should have saw that one coming but I didn't. She did that one so well because it helped answer questions but also it left even more questions in order to get you excited for the next novels. Yeah those are my pros and my cons for this novel. As you can see I really enjoyed this novel overall. At this point I'm not going to continue right away but I really want to continue. I just need a little break from these characters. Very intense story. A lot of fun. Scary at some points but really enjoyed so if you liked anything that I said, then you should definitely pick this one up. That is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if you read this or you're thinking about reading it. I want to hear your comments. And you know what, guys? I want you to keep reading. Bye.